guys welcome back to the channel Let's hope you had a great weekend it looks like the world is prepping or the powers the superpowers of this world is prepping for uh, some kind of nuclear showdown a lot of persons experts have been alluding to this for a very long time some people are saying look we're not ready for it but it has been in the mix for a while just the other day we saw russia up in the ante saying that they will use a nuclear arsenal if they feel so threatened by what's happening with ukraine nuclear strike training to take place in skies over the uk nuclear strike training flights will take place over belgium the netherlands denmark the united kingdom and the north sea they're saying that no live weapons will be used well apparently this seemed to be an annual thing with nato but what they're saying is that not in the uk so this is something new and just the other day i brought in a video where i told you that in the uk is now ramping up their nuclear program after so many years nato will launch its annual nuclear exercises steadfast noon it begins october 14th which is what today this routine training exercise involves over 60 aircraft including fighter jets capable of carrying nuclear warheads although no live weapons are used they're saying that the exercise is designed to maintain the readiness and effectiveness of NATO's nuclear deterrent, a critical component of the Alliance's defense strategy. This year's drills are focused on airspace over Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark, the United Kingdom, and the North Sea, with participation from 13 NATO allies. Remember I said to you before in a previous video, that the UK basically has the smallest outfit of nuclear arsenal. However, this year, they're giving millions of dollars to Lockheed Martin to ramp up their nuclear capability in the UK. So don't take these things lightly. Uh, I think the superpowers are preparing for shutdown based on all the information we've been gathering, we've been hearing. The exercise which runs for two weeks includes a variety of aircraft such as nuclear capable jets, bombers, fighter escorts, refueling aircraft and planes equipped for reconnaissance and electronic warfare. Keep that word in mind, electronic warfare. Around 2,000 military personnel are involved operating from eight air bases. The planning for a steadfast noon began a year ago, reflecting NATO's commitment to strategic preparedness. This year marks a notable development as Dutch F-35A fighters have been declared ready for nuclear role, adding to the strength of the Alliance capabilities. So the Netherlands this time, the Dutch, their fighters have been declared ready for nuclear role. This is the first time that this is happening as well. So when I say to you that something, nations are prepping for something, you also better prep and get ready. NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte highlighted the importance of the exercise stating nuclear deterrence is the cornerstone of Allied security. Steadfast Noon is an important test of the Alliance nuclear deterrent and sends a clear message to any adversity that NATO will protect and defend its allies. The exercise aligned with NATO broader goal of ensuring that its nuclear deterrent remains safe, secure, and credible. According to NATO's recent Washington summit declaration, the Alliance nuclear posture remains essential for preserving peace and deterring aggression as long as nuclear weapons continue to exist. But who has the weapons? All of them have nuclear weapons. So what are they talking about? But like I said to you, they're prepping for something really big. If you notice here, the US is now, well, they've been involved with Israel, but they're actively, really actively getting involved with this war down in Israel with Hamas. Look at this, US to send anti-missile defense system and 100 troops to Israel. The Biden administration is sending an advanced anti-missile defense system and US troops to Israel as Israel prepares to launch retaliatory strikes against Iran. Remember, Iran has nuclear capabilities as well. In a statement, a Pentagon spokesperson said this action underscores the United States ironclad commitment to defense of Israel and to defend Americans in Israel from any further ballistic missile attacks by Iran. The missile defense system is known as TAD, Thermal High Altitude Area Defense. Over the past year, the U.S. has sent over 50 tons of armaments and military equipment to Israel. But actually, this marks the first significant deployment of troops to Israel over the past year. A new study by the Coast of War Project at Brown University estimates the U.S. has spent nearly $23 billion during that time on Israel military and related operations. $23 billion while the 
millions and hundreds of millions and billions starving on this very planet 23 billion to fight war see what i'm talking about and this is the first time they're actually sending that kind of defense equipment to israel plus troops and then nato they're having this training session over the skies in the uk i mean it's an annual thing but the dutch is now involved where their aircraft and nuclear capabilities and the uk is prepping itself to get more nuclear defense something is in the often and the superpowers are prepping for a nuclear shutdown guys just be one take care of yourself and arm yourself with information because that is the key to anything all right we're talking